Hello, it's Hank here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to free up space on your hard drive. I just made a video on uh, the software Wistree, and I'm also going to be going over it again in this video, and I'm also going to use another other means of uh, freeing up hard drive space on your computer. All right, so uh, this video is going to be the in-depth video of how to uh, free up the uh, hard drive space or SSD drive space, depending on if you're running an SSD or a hard drive on your computer and gain back uh, as much space as you can. Okay, now f first we're going to make this for the uh, users that don't know much about their computer. The f way you check how much hard drive space you have is by clicking your start menu, going into File Explorer. Extra actually in Windows 10 you can just search File Explorer I think in your search. And when you click the file explorer, it opens up this, and then you come down to where it says this PC. And then here you'll see that I have, on my local disk C, I have 67, 76.1 gigabytes free of 111 gigabytes. Alright, that's how much current space I have available left on the drive C. Alright, so now on to how to uh, free up space on your C drive, okay? So I've just done a video about the software called WizTree, and it's a free software. You just have to do a Google search for uh, uh, WizTree. All right, and it's from anybodysoftware.com. Just download it and install it to your computer. And once it's installed, it looks like this. And when you open it up, you're going to select uh, the C drive and click Scan. And what that's going to do is it's going to scan the area of the computer where all the spaces, what folders are taking up the most space. So we could see here that the Windows directory, the C Windows, is taking up 19 gigabytes of space. Now we can't remove the operating system, so we can't do anything about that 19 gigabytes of space, okay? But what we can do is we can look down below this and we can see in the users folder there's 9.3 gigabytes of space. And we can click on this and we can expand this and we can click the next folder which is my username and you can see here what is taken up the most space now we can see here that the virtual machine that I got installed is taken up 8.1 gigs of space and uh, if I want it to free up 8.1 gigabytes of space I can right click on the uh, that folder and then I can delete the virtual machine and free up 8.1 gigs of space this software is very useful because it tells you exactly where the uh, where all the space is, like what, what folders on your computer is taking up all the space. And then you can come in here and delete it. Maybe for some it will be your downloads folder. You can right click on it, open up File Explorer and delete the contents of your downloads folder and free up whatever space is in there. All right. This tool analyzes where most of the space is on your computer. All right. So if you use this effectively, you can really free up a lot of space on your hard drive. All right. So that was one way of freeing up space. There's more that we can do to free up space on the computer. If you um, exit back into Windows Desktop now, if you click on your Start menu and you right click, or right click, and you'll get this menu coming up. You can go into um, Control Panel here, and in the Control Panel, you can click on Install a Program and you can see all the programs that you have installed on your computer all right and then on the le left side sorry the right side here we have a, a column called size if you click on that that is going to sort the stuff by size that's taken up most of the space now in this case gta 5 is taken up 68.8 gigabytes however that's on a separate drive so i'm not really concerned about that because i and um we can take a look here at the uh Chem Studio 6, which is my video recording software that I'm currently using to record this video, is taking up a gig of space. So you can see at the very top what what items are taking up the most space. And you can, if you don't want it and you need to free up space, you right click and you can uninstall it, and that will free up that much space on your computer. All right. So uh, keep in mind that um, if if you have an external drive, in this case, GTA 5 is not even on the C drive, so I don't have to worry about that. But if it was, and that was, and you really needed 68 gigs of space back, you can uninstall that and gain back that amount of space. All right. So that's another way of freeing up space. That is probably a basic way that people would know by now, but there's people that don't even know about 
about this or don't know about sorting it by size, okay? When you sort it by size, the program that's at the very top is the program that takes up the most space on your hard drive. All right, so that's another way of freeing up space on the hard drive, okay? So another thing you can do is you can download a software called CCleaner, all right? You can download CCleaner by doing a Google search. I've already got it on here, but we'll just do a Google search anyways. Just do a search for CCleaner. It's by Piriform. Download the free version off their website of CCleaner and install it to your system. And CCleaner can free up some temporary files off your computer. So when you open CCleaner up, I'll just make this uh, maybe smaller and I'll zoom in here for you. When you open uh, CCleaner up, you just click the cleaner and then you click run cleaner. And what this would do is this will go ahead and start cleaning temporary files that you don't need. And I just freed up a, 119 megabytes of space by running CCleaner. And some people, you may see this in the gigabyte range if you haven't run it before. So that is another way of freeing up space on your hard drive. Okay. We can also click on your search menu and you can write disk cleanup. And when you open up disk cleanup, you can click on that and you'll select your drive C. And this will go ahead and start scanning for uh, unnecessary files on drive C. And when it opens up, it looks like this. We can tick all these. And if you want to do a more thorough uh, scan, you can click clean up system files for unnecessarily ones that we are not using. And we'll just let it to, uh, do, a, 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 do a clean here while I scan. Like maybe it's old updates for Windows that are clogging up your space. All right, so you can take a look and tick up all of these things here that you don't need. Because all of these are safe to delete. And if I do that, I'll free up 620 megabytes of space. So I'm just going to click OK and then delete. Then we'll have the confirmation here to delete files. And we'll let that delete them files off the computer. And once that's done, we've freed up 600 megabytes of space on the hard drive again. So those are ways of clearing up space. Now another thing is if you are really desperate to uh, free up space on the C drive, I'm going to show you some means that you can take. This is if you're super desperate and you've done everything you can and you're still and you're still running out of space and you, or like maybe you only have 4 gigs left on your hard drive and you've tried everything already in this video. What you can do is you can click your start menu again, right click on it, open file explorer. Click on um, local. Click on this PC. Right-click local disk C, and go down into properties. And in here, you can click on compressed drive to save disk space. Now that makes a mess of your C drive. I don't recommend you click on that unless you're desperate. All right. And then you would click apply. All right. That f can help free up space if you're desperate enough. All right. Now there's another one that you can do if you're really desperate to free up space. If you click on if you exit out of this and we'll return back into Windows, if you go back down to your start menu and you right click on there and you will go into um, system here and then in system if you click advanced system settings and then when you get the advanced system window popped up here what you're going to do is you're going to click down into where it says uh, system, system protection and you're going to uh, we, we right now we have system restore turned off okay so um let's say you have system restore points here you can uh if i had system restore turned on i could st i may have 23.8 gigabytes in system restore and i can click on delete and all the system restore points will be gone so if you're every restore point that you've made on your computer with system restore will be gone but that can free up a lot of space now if your computer crashes you're going to be screwed so it's real important that once you uh, do this and I had system restore completely turned off by the way once you do this you create a system restore point and just call it the date or whatever whatever the date is Three. And then create a restore point in case your system were to crash, okay? And that's, uh, if you're really desperate, removing all the system restore points actually can free up space on your hard drive. Alright? And you can, some people can free up 20 gigs doing that. Alright? So that is a way of freeing up space on your drive. If you're really desperate, 
you can take that up measure. All right, so in this video, we've covered up the ways of uh, freeing up space on the hard drive. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember to comment, write, and subscribe if you like these videos.